me and my wife met in a disco. Had we heard of the word design? It's one of those words that you might not have even known from our background. Gradually we must have realised that actually we had a design brain and that was developed from all the things that you should do when you're young. We, we were both out clubbing from the age of 13. We started off not calling ourselves designers, then I suppose we had to be call, call ourselves fashion designers because we had one of probably the world's most famous fashion companies in Red or Dead. And after we sold that, we wanted to follow where we've been brought up with an egalitarian view on the world and, and then eventually do events like this where you're doing things that have got social benefit. Coming from a, a town, a reasonable sized town like Blackburn, there was only one fashion shop for men and the rest of we had to do ourselves or wear second hand or you know, go to army surplus stores. My, my mum and my nan all, always made clothes so there was always a, a sewing machine going in the house and they encouraged me, they never stood in the way of me going out or dressing differently or kind of cutting my own hair and all that kind of stuff. I was, I was 13 when I started to collect records, I was 13 when I started to be totally independent and be able to you know, make my own outfits with a bit of help from my mum and learn how to use a sewing machine ru rudimentary. You were doing it to be different, so you were, you were, you were different, but it didn't, it didn't, you weren't like thought of a weirdo or anything, you were just somebody who did things a little bit differently. I think men now can have got much more choice and I think you're allowed to express yourself a little bit more, but in a way people are expressing themselves less. I think we're going through a period of sportswear and you know sportswear can be pretty boring. But in the clubs today there's, there's people doing interesting things. My generation doesn't own cool. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.